Hello, I'm Barkley Roper with Tiger Capital Management, a registered investment advisor here in the state of Idaho, bringing you your weekly trend update and helping you stay on the right side of the market. Jim Rogers, famous American investor and author, talks about recurring market hysteria in Jack Schwager's book, Market Wizards. He says, it's always the same cycle. When a market is very low, there comes a time when some people buy it because it has become undervalued. The market starts to go up and more people buy because it is a fundamentally sound thing to do or because the charts look good. In the next stage, people buy because it has been the thing to do. My mother calls me up and says, buy me XYZ stock. I ask her why. Because the stock is triple, she answers. Finally, there comes the magical stage. People are hysterical to buy because they know that the market is going to go up forever and prices exceed any kind of rational, logical, economic value. He goes on to say, the whole process then repeats itself on the downside. The markets get tremendously overpriced and it starts to go down. More people sell because the fundamentals are turning poor. As the economics deteriorate, more and more people sell. Next, people sell just because it has been the thing to do. Everybody knows it is going to go to nothing, so they sell. Then the market reaches the hysteria stage and it gets very underpriced. That's when you can buy it for a pop. But for the long-term investment, you usually have to wait a few years and let the market's base close quote. So remember, as a trend follower, we don't fret over how long or irrational a market move is. We follow it until we determine the trend has changed and then we exit. And as Mark Twain has been heard saying, history doesn't repeat itself but it sure does rhyme. So let's go ahead and look at our long-term trends for today, starting out with U.S. stocks, represented by the S&P 500. Looks like today we have the price um, right here at a new high, well above the 50-day moving average, well above the 200-day moving average. So U.S. stocks are in a confirmed uptrend. Foreign stocks, looks like uh, price is right here above, uh, well above the 50-day moving average, also well above the 200-day moving average. So foreign stocks were in a confirmed uptrend. Real estate investment trusts. Um, price is right there at the 50-day moving average. We have to remember that we have this uh, uh, support area that we're watching to see if uh, price breaks below that support area. But as of right now, we'll say that uh, real estate investment trusts are in a confirmed uptrend. Commodities, price is below the 50-day moving average and also below the 200-day moving average. So we're in a confirmed downtrend with commodities and bonds. We can see that uh, price is above the 50-day moving average, but well below the 200-day moving average. So bonds were in a confirmed downtrend. So let's look at that one more time. U.S. stocks are in a confirmed uptrend. Foreign stocks are in a confirmed uptrend. Real estate investment trusts are in a confirmed uptrend. Commodities in a confirmed downtrend. And bonds are in a confirmed downtrend. So that wraps it up for today. I'm Barkley Roper with Tiger Capital Management, bringing you your weekly trend update, helping you stay on the right side of the market. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to give me a call or email me. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.